Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video we will learn how to solve a ZAMP error Apache shut down unexpectedly on Windows and Mac OS. ZAMP is a popular development tool for building a site on a local server. Developers use this software to create new websites, test any changes, updates and new plugins or themes. However, just like any other software errors occur. In this case, the ZAMP error usually happens when you try to start booting the software. This problem can be caused by unexpected shutdown, often because of a firewall or antivirus software. If that's the case, you can change the antivirus settings to allow Apache to run normally or try disabling it temporarily. The error may also occur if you are using an outdated Apache version. Check and download the latest version of Apache from apache.org. Sometimes simply restarting the software can fix the error. However, if the problem persists, the underlying cause may be a blocked port, as it's one of the most common reasons for the error. The default Apache port is 80 for HTTP and port 443 for HTTPS, also used by numerous other programs including Skype and BitTorrent. If Apache uses the same port as another app, it creates a block that eventually triggers the error. To fix this, force quit the application running on the same port as Apache. To check which app uses the port, you can check listening ports with the netstat command. If you can access the root server, you can also solve the problem by changing the Apache port entirely. If using Windows, change the Apache port by editing the HTTPD and HTTP SSL configuration files. To do so, open the XAMPP software to access its control panel. Then click the Config button next to Apache row to view the drop-down menu. Choose the Apache HTTPD.conf file, which will be opened by your system's default text editor app. Use the Ctrl plus F shortcut and enter 80 in the search field. This will display all lines including the value 80 within the file. Navigate to the one that shows port 80 and change its value to any other available port. I'll use 8080 as an example. Once that's done, find the listen80 command line and change it to the same port. In our case, it's 8080 once more. Next, find the server name localhost line and update the port to 8080 as well. You can now save and close the file. Now let's move on to HTTP SSL. Return to the exam control panel and select config next to Apache row again. This time choose the Apache HTTP SSL file. When the file opens, use the Ctrl plus F shortcut and enter 443 in the search field. Find listen 443 and update the port to 4433. Next, search for the remaining line that uses the 443 port, changing it to 4433. The one we are looking for should be labeled as virtual host default. Save and close the file. Click start to restart the software. You should see Apache running as normal. The steps for changing the default Apache port settings on macOS are slightly different. Open the XAMPP application manager and go to the manage servers tab. Choose Apache web server from the list and click on figure. Select Open Conf file. You might see a warning message. Simply click Yes to continue. Next, press the Option command F shortcut and enter 80 in the search field. Locate the line with the Listen command and change the port to 8080. Save and close the file and click OK. Return to the XAP Application Manager, choose Apache Web Server from the list and click Restart. Apache should now run as normal. Great work! That will be all for today. Like and share this video if you found it helpful. Oh, and don't hesitate to leave a comment or any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to Hosinger Academy channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.